busloads of John Boehner's family and friends left Cincinnati, Ohio before dawn this morning. Bound for D.C., where tomorrow Nancy Pelosi will formally return the speaker's gavel Boehner handed to her in 2007. I don't really look back, I look forward. Pelosi and fellow Democrats hammered Boehner today for scheduling a vote next week to repeal the president's health care law. Every minute wasted on trying to repeal health care reform fruitlessly is one less minute that Republicans will spend on job creation and turning this economy around. With their new 49-seat majority, Republicans will have the votes in the House for repeal, though the effort is destined to die in the democratically controlled Senate. Is there any concern that you might be making the same mistake that Democrats made, which is focusing too much on health care? What we're going to do is focus on the health care bill and the repeal of that. We have to do that because our constituents tell us this is a jobs killer. The president, returning from his Hawaiian vacation on Air Force One, shrugged off the repeal vote. Unlike Newt Gingrich, who marked the last Republican takeover with gloating press conferences and fancy galas, Boehner has tried to keep this transition low-key, distancing himself from tonight's $2,500 a head fundraiser at this swanky D.C. hotel for a dozen of his new members, featuring country music star Leanne Rimes. The image troubles some new Tea Party members who campaigned on fiscal austerity. I come up here and I don't look like a NASCAR race driver with you know, all kind of corporate patches all over me. And that's what the American people want. They want to know that their representative is owned by them. The freshman congressman who arranged the fundraiser, Jeff Denham of California, defends it, saying that if Republicans want to retain their majority in two years, they're going to have to raise funds for re-election, just like everybody else. Katie? And Nancy, John Boehner says the new House will act quickly to cut $100 billion from the budget this year. But what are they planning to cut? That's the big question, isn't it? That's right, and reporters actually posed that question to Eric Cantor today. He's the number two under John Boehner, and he just refused to answer it, saying only that everything is on the table. And part of the reason for that vagueness is that when you're looking at cutting something like $100 billion from the budget, it's going to involve painful decisions that voters might not like, Katie. All right, Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nance, thanks very much.